I thought I'd try something a little bit different. You know, Dell makes these XPS Ultrabooks. They're nice Ultrabooks for uh, Windows. In fact, this one has a Windows 8 key on it. But I ain't running Windows 8 on here. This is running Ubuntu Linux. This is the Dell XPS 13 Developer Edition. And it is a Linux laptop. It's not the first that Dell has sold, but it's been a while since we've seen one. It's got Ubuntu 1204 long-term support version on it. Now, that's important. I'll explain why in a second. Uh, and it runs out of the box beautifully. The camera works, a nice HD camera, keyboard, trackpad. One of the problems a lot of people have with putting Linux on an existing laptop is getting that trackpad to be responsive to work well. And this one does because Dell's provided all the drivers for all the hardware. They, they made or, or sourced the, the hardware, and they made sure that Ubuntu 1204 worked fine, and it does. Now, you might want to stay with 1204 LTS because if you go to version 13, as I did, things may not work quite as well. The drivers may not be as readily available. Uh, I found one thing that broke immediately was Chrome because somehow, for some reason, Ubuntu in uh, version 13 eliminated a key library that Chrome was using. Chrome's, uh, Google's fixed this by offering a Chrome installer that fixes that library. But it took me a while to figure out what was going on. And that's really the problem. If you're a, a Linux geek, you're going to love this. But I can't recommend Linux as an alternative desktop for uh, anybody who would normally be in the market for Windows or a Mac. It's a pretty beefy machine. It's got a Three point, up to 3.1 gigahertz i7 in here, 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 256 gigabyte SSD, so it's fast, 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 and I love the screen, a 1920 by 1080, 13.3 inch screen, very high resolution, very crisp. I, it doesn't say IPS, but I think it must be IPS, given that I can be looking at this angle and read the screen very clearly. I mean, it's a really spectacular screen, and at that resolution, you know, 1920, uh, by 1080 on a 13-inch screen, this is the kind of thing Linux geeks love because they can have a nice big terminal, they can have a nice big IDE, they can have a chat room running. They like to have more on here. It does have uh, a, a, a nice uh, mini display port on the side, and I was able to drive a variety of monitors with that, no problem. It's even got USB 3 and USB 2, 2 ports on it. No SD card, um, and the keyboard doesn't light up, which those are a couple of things that people who buy Windows laptops might be a little surprised at. Under three pounds, it's light, it's thin, no optical drive, but a very nice developer edition. And I tell you, of course, if you're a Linux geek, you probably part of the fun of it is getting it to run on Windows hardware. But if you don't want to spend the energy doing that, this is a great choice for a developer or anybody who wants to use Linux, just pure straight out of the box. I did a couple of customizations almost right away. I'm not a fan of the Unity desktop that uh, uh, Ubuntu has chosen for 1204, so I replaced it with the uh, X-Ubuntu's XFCE desktop. Actually, I'm using the X-Ubuntu desktop with XFCE. That's a nice, lightweight... In fact, Linus Torvalds recommends it. He says, I don't like Unity either. So he uses XFCE. Not a perfect desktop, but that's one of the advantages of Linux. Very, very customizable. So pros and cons... Uh, Oh, I didn't mention the biggest, but I'll save it for the cons. Uh, pros and cons on this. The pro, it's fabulous screen. It is Linux out of the box, works great, everything works great, and it's a high-end laptop with a lot of nice features. Cons, no backlit keyboard. Um, that's that's kind of a negative. Uh, lack of an SD card. Um, uh, mostly, though, the biggest con is the price, $1,649. This is a pricey laptop. Uh, I'm sorry, $1,549. $1,649 is the, is the starting price, but for some reason, Dell doesn't ever sell it at that price. They take 100 bucks off the top. Okay, $1,549. Still very pricey. Pretty much the same price as our Acer S7, which arguably has some uh, advantages over it. And if, if you're good with Linux and drivers... Um, I think you probably just buy a, a Windows laptop and, uh, and put Linux on it yourself. It is so strange, though, to see a Windows 8 key <laughs> on a Linux laptop. Come on, Dell, make a new key. How much is that going to pop this one off, put one with a tux on it, okay? Would you do me a favor? That's ridiculous. At least they do take off the uh, windows inside and they do give you a little ubuntu logo on, on the bottom i do i love how it feels it's fun having a linux laptop that works so well out of the mm -hmm. box but i have to say it's a don't buy simply because of the price you can get a cheaper laptop or a laptop with more features at the same price put linux on it yourself